What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy, Cole Cole, here back with another banger for y'all boys today. And hey, we're going to be reacting to Cole the Man breaking down the rep system for NBA 2K24, man. If you enjoy this type of content, man, make, make sure to smash that like button, smash that sub button. We're on the road to 1.6K subs, man. And the best to ever do it, man. Cole knows, man. Cole, it's a cold, cold world. You feel me? No, that's lame to say. Don't fry me in the comments. But uh, yeah, man, we finna see what Cole man had had to say, man. Go sub to him, man. This is his video. This is just my reaction to it. We just finna give our thoughts and opinions on it, man. But without further ado, man, let's just hop right into it. Let's get it. NBA 2K24 is finally bringing it back. No, this is not fake. This is an actual tweet from Ronnie 2K claiming that the rep system is back. And the tweet says, the following statement was released today by NBA 2K in response to questions about the future plan for rep in the city. And quote, rep is back. And as you guys can see, each rank has three levels and it goes from rookie to starter to veteran to top 10. This looks like a revamp from the old rookie to legend from the previous 2Ks. We've all been begging for this and it's finally back. And this is really good news for the long-term grinders and for people that play 2K every single day. And as a dedicated 2K fan, this is really good for me because with just level 40, I get super bored after I reach that level. But finally, guys, we're going to have something to look forward to all year if you play the game all year round. Now, when Ronnie2K tweeted this, a lot of people came to the conclusion that this will be the season system, but 2K cleared that up and tweeted this. They said rep does not reset at the start of a new season. So your rep does not reset after each season in 2K23, 4, excuse me, next gen. This is only for next gen, by the way, just in case y'all didn't know that already. There's no rep system in current gen, man. So if you want the better features, cross play, pro play, rep system you better get you a next gen console man it's been four years it the cheapest option is the xbox series s i already did a video on the channel in regards to that but uh yeah man don't miss out on next gen features still playing current gen man if you're a content creator and you still playing current gen i'm gonna assume you ducking if you're not under the, a certain age but let, let, let's just keep it meaning that the season reward system is going to be completely different from the new rep system but like i said it goes from rookie to starter to veteran to top 10. now we've never seen anything like the top 10 so let's break this down and talk about what the possibilities of what top 10 level could possibly mean now in my opinion i think it's going to be super hard to get top 10 and i think most people are going to end up at veteran 3 if you play the game year round but I think the top 10 level could possibly mean two things. Number one, I think this could possibly be a leaderboard for the top 10 rep leaders in NBA 2K24. So say for example, if someone is number 10 and they don't play the game for a day, they're gonna drop out of the leaderboard and return to the veteran three. That'd be fire though. You don't play the game for a day and then a motherfucker just pass you up like that. I think that'd be fire, Joe. Not gonna lie. I don't see myself getting top 10 because, I, you know, shit, I'm at work recording this video. Man, I don't, don't. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like the people that got the time, you know what I'm saying? You know, the sweat sweats, the uh, the tryhards, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be going for top rep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that'll be fire. And it, it'll keep people on the game. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, depending on the rep rewards, man, it'll keep you engaged in playing the game. Besides, if you even grind to 40, you know what I'm saying, if the max level is 40. You know what I'm saying? It'll keep people on the game. You know what I'm saying? All year round. Having the rep, you know what I'm saying, is a it's a plus because it keeps people engaged on the game. Then they see the rewards, they're like, oh, okay, let me uh let me hit uh what's that? Start a two today. Well start a three today, you know what I'm saying? And they go all the way to veteran, you know what I'm saying? I'm I, I I don't see myself hitting top ten. I think I see myself hitting better at three around like sometime next year. You know what I'm saying? Because I still got to push out videos and content. But uh, I think that'll be fire. Let's hit the second option. Rep level. I think this is a great idea because I think it's going to keep people wanting to grind throughout the whole year so they can stay on that top 10 leaderboard. 
and get their name known and it's going to be cool because it's not going to be a top 10 for just playstation or a top 10 for xbox as you guys know 2k has mentioned a million times that crossplay is in 2k24 so the top 10 is going to be combined all consoles together we're going to see who the top grinders are this year in nba 2k24 between playstation and xbox number two top 10 could literally mean the first 10 people to reach top 10 and they could get some insane reward and maybe even a top 10 logo above their head year round and this is going to make people want to really grind the game so they can be the first 10 to get it asap so they do not lose out i know people are going to be losing a lot of sleep if this is the case because listen i know no one wants to miss out on this and the grinders are going to want to be the first 10 to hit it now obviously boosters are one of the biggest issues so 2k would really have to monitor this and uh just basically stay on top of that now those are my speculations but either way it's going to be really fun to grind this all year round even if you're not going for the first 10 to get it now comment down below what do you guys think about the rep system returning to nba 2k24 and what do you think the new top 10 level could possibly mean you grind for top rep nba 2k24 man let me know in the comment section below let me know what level you see yourself in by the end of 2k24 going into 2k25 man but if you enjoy this type of content man make sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button shout out to Coda man for his video man make sure y'all go like and sub up to him here on the road to 1 million i'm on the road to 1.6 thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all so much for watching this video y'all take care man